into each generation a Buffy game is played. Welcome back to another Antwoord Movie Mania. In today's video, it's all about Buffy the Game. Now, in this video, we're going to be talking. Wait a minute, this is Buffy the Game. We can do a better intro than that. Roll title. Hello everyone, welcome back to another Antwoord Movie Mania and in today's video it's all about Buffy the game. Now in this video we're going to be talking about the game itself, Giles is going to give you a history 101 on the past and present, what's happening in Sunnydale and we're going to be playing a little bit of gameplay as Buffy in the library, kicking a little bit of vampire butt along the way. So the game originally came out for Xbox in 2002 and everyone who was in the show came back to do the voiceovers but except for Buffy herself, which was voiced by Gazelle Loren, and the master was DC Douglas. But it's a great game to play. I've been playing it for a while now. But I recently found out, even though it came out on originally Xbox, you can play it on an Xbox 360. I only found this out a few weeks ago, so I have been playing it. So this is the reason why I'm doing this video. For the people that don't know, you can play it on your Xbox 360, so it's really good if you've got the game itself. But that's just me talking a little bit about the game. Now here is Giles doing a History 101. Enjoy. In a time when the world was young, England ran unfettered across the face of the earth. The powers that be chose a young woman, one girl in all the world, to combat the forces of darkness. Upon her death, the power passed to another. And another. Down over the millennia, each girl inheriting the power of her predecessor. The power of Kazuya. For ages, the Council of Watchers has trained and guided these girls in the duties and responsibilities that come along with their gifts. At present, Buffy Summers is the chosen one, the Slayer. And I am her Watcher. When she was first called to be the Slayer, Buffy lived in Los Angeles. A trial by fire against the vampire slayer was nothing short of triumphant. However, as it involved the burning down of her high school gymnasium, her mother was to disagree. Subsequently, Buffy and her mother moved north to Sunnydale, California. Her arrival there was not a coincidence, but another example of the powers that be at work. For beneath Sunnydale was a hell mouth, a place where the barrier between this world and the demon dimensions the Hellmouth acts as a sort of supernatural magnet. In effect, a tourist attraction for the most light-bound creatures imaginable. One of those was the monster, Heinrich Joseph Nest, a vampire more than six centuries old, the leader of the ancient order of vampires. Sometime in the 1930s, the master brought the order to Sunnydale in hopes that he might open the Hellmouth and let the old ones, a race of elder demons, he might very well have succeeded, if not for the intervention of fate. In 1937, while the master was making his preparations, Sunnydale was struck by an earthquake that swallowed half the town, including an abandoned church the master was using as his lair. The earthquake disrupted the order's ritual and trapped the master between worlds in the process, opening dimensional portals for tricky business. In 1997, the master was finally freed Succeeded briefly in opening the hell mouth. Fortunately, the slayer prevented the ritual from being completed, and it was sealed again. But 
Ruffy also repeated and destroyed the master. So powerful was he, however, that his bones were left behind. They were buried, and then the son around them consecrated with holy water. Still, his followers in the Order of Aurelius misinterred his remains and attempted to restore the master to life. Again, Ruffy thwarted them, disrupting the ritual and pounding the moldering bones of the master to dust with his edge hammer. The master. So that was Giles History 101 on the Slayer and the Master and everything that's happening in Sunnydale. And now on to a little bit of actual gameplay in the library. Apologies if you do hear a lot of clicking along the way. It's just because of me tapping the control, control pad. But apart from that noise, please enjoy. Resistance to criminal trauma. That must be a really good book. Actually, no, it's a rather obscure text on spirit channel. The author was long winded and pedantic. Want me to try to track him? Get the book back? No, that won't be necessary. The text is seriously out of date. Its contents would be of little worth to anyone but a man to me. Check in with Giles before I head out. 
us over our stupid book? Why don't you people get your priorities straight? Hello, cheerleading competition this week. Keep an eye out for crystals when you're out on flare duty. Pretty, but they also come in handy. Strong with the laser. Any good witch or a bad demon knows that certain crystals have healing or energy enhancing powers. If you find anything, bring it back to me. I've been experimenting with some spells using crystals. If I have the right ones, I might be able to boost your strength and flare power. Kind of like an energy bar, but you don't need it. Tell me later. And later we can make some fun and microphoning jewelry out of it. Or not. Hey, Bob. I've been working on this bad boy for quite a while, and this looks like the right time to break it in. Xander, for me, you're shaving him. Buffy, there are some advanced fighting techniques I'd like you to begin studying immediately. Joy, more and more complicated ways to monster mash. Indeed. Take this and study it. Well, wait. You didn't say there was reading involved. Given the gravity of our situation, I recommend you incorporate these techniques into your repertoire immediately. No need to get all heavy with the gravity. Consider it done. So there we have it, that was my Buffy review on the game. I hope you all enjoyed it. Did you enjoy Giles History 101? Did you enjoy walking around the library and kicking a bit of vampire butt? But please let me know, have you played this game before? If you haven't, if this is brand new information, did you even know there was a game that existed to begin with? There is another game called Chaos Blades, which is really good as well. I highly recommend that game. You can get that one for the PS2 and the Xbox. But I wanna know your thoughts do you enjoy the game? Did you enjoy the little walk around that we did in the library? But as always, I am Antwood Movie Mania. Please leave your likes, your comments, please subscribe. Expect more Buffy content to come. And I will see you in the next one. See you later.